Brother Lord Wyatt, if you need to take notes, please take notes if I'm going too fast. Please slow down or repeat. I don't have a problem with repeating because I know I have an issue with speaking very fast. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I want to wait a couple more minutes to let some folks in. Um, I don't want them to miss out on anything. I want them to catch up on anything. I would have hoped all of you would have turned in your coursework already. I would have hoped all of you in reviewing your topics. Um, please invest in a atlas. Read over the political map and the physical map on the world at on the world in the world atlas. The world map. Please look over the Bahamian Islands. You have 17 islands, 17 main settlements for each island. Then you have about 14 to 15 bodies of water that I would uh, um, say to you, go and memorize where they are located. There is one lake and one high peak that you guys would have to remember as in pertained into um, landfall farmers in particular, if they would have asked you during the in the map section different from that any other land forms they're going to ask you that in the multiple choice section as in what it is a let's say for example a pond a, um what else we have mangroves a corpus um blue holes etc 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 all right i think that um should be a quorum that we have please make sure you talk back to me if you cannot hear let me know if you need me to repeat Say to repeat. All right, let's begin. So we're talking about Brahma Road Ride. When any history topic that you need to remember, um, whether it's for the multiple choice or for the structure questions, there are some things that you need to, to remember, um, even if you do not know the full, 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 full story. So who all are involved? What it is all about? Um, the persons who were, I don't know what said, the who, the when, the what, the why. Basically, that's what it is. The who, the what, the when, and the why of every topic. Um, the who, the what, the when, the why, the results, the outcomes of that particular topic. All right. That is um, basically everything. And that would basically give you the full story of that particular event. So you have those history topics like Lutheran Adventurers. Um, the Lutheran Adventurers. Who else would have come? The American Civil War, the American Revolutionary War. Um, what? I can't remember. The Loyalists. And then you have the human topics such as the Burma Road Riot, the General Strike, the, the party politics, um, how the Constitution, and all of those. You And Christopher Columbus. How could you be a Christopher Columbus? You just need to be able to know the basic, basic facts. The story structure of it is going to fall into play once you know the who, the when, the what, and the why. All right. So let's begin. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, let's see if we can play first. I'm going to let you listen to a song. Let's see if you know the know the song. I should have taken the person's name off to see if you know that person. Do you guys know um, the song? Yes. You all know the song um, Going Down Burma Road? No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma sing it for me. Yes, ma'am. Sing it, sing it, sing it. Somebody sing it. Okay, let me play a little bit, a part of it. A small, if it, if it will be. Uh, just a small clip into it. Sorry, I touched it was me. I forget I can't touch it. Touch my computer. Well, something is being I totally apologize. That's good. See there? Oh. Just 
Um, is it the song came um, to your mind yet? Yeah? Yes? No? Okay. Go on YouTube. It's there. Listen to this whole entire song. Um, the majority of these Bahamian songs will actually tell you what happened during um, certain events. And it will also just give you some little humor in there so that you'll be able to remember what was going on. And it was also there to help them um, forget not to say forget, but to not to be so aggravated because of whatever would have happened in those certain instances. All right. Now, this is what we call a primary um, source. Someone who was actually um, in the era of the Burma Road Riot. She was interviewed to say what she remembered from the incident and how things would have happened. Don't you remember? You do have to remember what is primary sources or secondary sources. Get to kill time. Primary source is first hand information. Secondary source is what someone else would have told you that they saw, you know, something that someone would have heard from somebody else that, that it was the case. Or if you would have read it from a book, um, like a dictionary or a um, encyclopedia or from a textbook that is secondhand information. Now, if it is a book that it is a diary or biblio or a biography of, of the person, then it is different. That will then become a first-hand information, first-hand source. All right? All right. So let's listen to her interview just uh, for a short snippet. It's not really long. Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, when the poem arose, when the poem arose, that right, that I was 15 years old, coming from school, because our school was at 12 o'clock, that day, and two, coming from school, we are not, we are, uh, see, all of us, anything would belong to the white man, over the hill they pick it up, as I told you before, and after that day, then, down, down, and they spoke of every white man by cloth, everything, cloth shop, everything, you name it, and they did it. Sam was sent to jail. I don't know who was sent to jail at that time, because I leave in 1943. So I don't know who was sent to jail, but I know Sam was sent to jail, and, and Sam was locked up there as well enough. Because mm -hmm. well, it was like, a, like when you go to work, like that, they had a uh, the hotel, mm -hmm. you know, they hire all these people to work, yeah. and they wasn't getting the sufficient pay that they needed, as far as I can get her. You see, and then they, you know, they, they say, man, that's cool. So they came out and pulled forth and break up everything that they could break up. Mm -hmm. And after that, it wasn't, it wasn't no bar, oh, they didn't belong to no, no white man, or it belonged to the colored men, or they sell it to them, I don't know. So what happened, you could remember what happened the day after the Burma Road Riot? How was everything happening? I know we went, I went back to school, we went back to school that day. No, it's like, not. See, most of the things, they only came from Burma Road. We put the people out places and they went downtown, mm -hmm. you see? And then, you know, that day they came out and they were like, they be up and down the road, we can go and they kind of go down. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I don't know much about that. Mm -hmm. What happened? I have. Yeah. Yeah, but they break it. And you say they pulled, they pulled the, everything out of people's shop. Oh, yeah, they throw them out. Mm -hmm. Because it's a crowd working the same. They go on and they throw trains. Mm -hmm. All the way to the river. Yeah, all the way to the river. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what I think. Okay. All right, so we heard her 
small portion of what she actually remembered from the story. Can somebody recap and tell me what they remember that she actually said? That she rem would have remembered from the riot. I know it was a little bit low, but let's try. Um, they weren't getting paid enough. Some folks wasn't getting paid. Did she say exactly who was getting paid? If you don't remember, just say just say so. If you do, then I will just then you just tell us. That's all. Talk back to me. I couldn't really I remember. Black versus wasn't getting paid properly. I uh huh. Um, they got pulled out of the shop. Uh huh. Awesome. Anything else? She used some some words that we don't normally use. Uh, that's Bahamian. That's Bahamian. Um, but some terminologies that we wouldn't say when we are actually writing. Um. I think she said yes, awesome. She was 15 years old when that happened. What when school it out? She said school was out. Some were being arrested, but she didn't know exactly who was arrested. Uh-huh. What time school came out? Back way back then. 12 o'clock. Awesome. Do I think school should come out 12 o'clock today? I think school be too long. Do you all think so? No? Okay, no problem. Yes, sir. There you go. Awesome. Um, all right, so she got out of school at 12, then she heard about the the, 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 um, the um, breaking up of the white people, what, is, what she said. The white people um, shops, um, their property were being damaged. And um, as far as she knew, some people were arrested. She can't say who was arrested. And the next day she went back to school. All right, that's all she would have been, been able to remember. But most definitely she knew that it was the white people whose property was being damaged and most definitely from the newspaper stories that we'd have gotten the um textbooks that we would have been reading on these particular topics it is absolutely correct all right so we would say that because of this kind of information that she was saying she is on the right track um in terms of what went down so let me give you some brief information i'm not gonna I am not going to um, leave this up for you guys to write, but we are reviewing. So I'm not waiting for you to take notes. If you need to um, make notes, I would suggest that you do screenshots. Is do some screenshots and you'll be able to get the notes. All right. This is also in the textbook called The Bahamas making of the Bahamas and the social studies for secondary school, the Bahamian, those Bahamian social study textbooks, the green, I think it's, I remember if it's green. Is it green? Yeah, uh, I am in it right now, ma'am. Um, I can tell you right now the color of the books. It's a blue book, it's a purple book, and it's another color book. Anyway, I can't mind. Those are the books that though, um, you would have these to topics in, all right? So let's go. Let's figure out what was going on, the making of the Bahamas. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, cash. I don't think it's going to ask something, all right? So let's go. So between the U.S. and the British, um, they were, they came in, in a negotiation, yes, exactly, to build a base here in the Bahamas now, this 99 year lease that um, you see that is on my screen that is not actually up as yet we have 17 more we have 17 more years to go in this lease that they would have agreed on all right all 17 more years you see that wow that is something else 17 more years to go in this least lease for this u.s base that they would have negotiated way back then so they would have hired black locals and then they would have um, contracted other workers, which is the whites. Notice how they would describe it. So you say the same way when you are writing. Black locals and whites, foreign whites, were hired to build the 
naval base. The naval base, the air base here within the Bahamas. All right, one was in New Providence and the other was in Exuma. Awesome. Um, I cannot say if they are in Exuma. I it, most definitely it is not here in the in New Providence. Um, I know that there is a base in Andros, but it is not fully functional. Um, I can't say if the one is is it Miss Body. Okay, I can we can find out. Yes, the naval base in Exuma is. Oh, awesome. I didn't know that. That is news to us. See there, you educated us. Thank you so kindly. The naval base is still functional. All right. So fabulous. Um, what else I gonna say? This is the name of the company, Pleasantville Company. So things you need to remember. Pleasantville Company, um, a base in New Providence, and what is in Exuma. You need to remember the year. 1942 all right so that is the the the, the 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 back history of it now this is a photo of the airport that they wanted to extend because um you know we our planes wasn't all of that big 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 but these naval aircrafts that they would have been coming in we know that you need a good runway and the runway cannot be um rugged like how we have our streets today they need to be on a consistent basis they need to be nicely <laughs> they need to be they need to be nicely paved all right and if the road is and if the runway isn't how it's supposed to be yes yeah, so thank you so kindly nice and smooth tires are going to be damaged and then that's going to be another issue and then who is going to be in debt we have to now pay because our runway isn't how it's supposed to be now. We have to go and pay and help to repair their tires. And it's cheaper to just, just maintenance. Maintenance is easier than anything else. All right? So that was way back then after the World War. Um, one, what have happened? These things was was, was in play. Now, um, let's go to the, the logistics now. What gone down? 2,400 local black were hired they only got four shillings the white americans or the white foreigners got twice as much so if they got four and four more that's eight shillings so the black local bohemians got four shillings the other color got eight shillings now they were doing the same amount of work and that wasn't fair now those who were in exuma told the sec in Nassau that these whites um, foreigners were getting paid eight while we blacks were only getting paid four shillings. Now that was an issue. All right. Now the person who was in charge to oversee, let me say, I can, I can say that. The person who was in charge to oversee was Duke of Windsor. He was the one who went then his little far self to tell the, the, the um, Pleasantville con um, company do not pay the blacks local more than that because when the contract is finished, we cannot pay them eight shillings. All right. So that was the big, 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 big start of the pot getting extra hot. All right. So that was the big, 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 big sir. From there, now the blacks. Blacks and um, locals went and tell the same gentleman, Mr. Charles Rodriguez, hey, they're not treating us fairly. We need you to intervene and speak on our behalf. There you go. Awesome stuff. I like that, um, um, Mr. Sir. Awesome. So, yeah, it, it isn't fair for... We all doing the same amount of work and we, because of my color, I'm getting paid less than you got a little brighter color or brighter complexion than I. All right. So he tried to um, work things out, but it did not work out. He couldn't get anything. So what happened? We, the black locals then came together and then they said, and then they marched from 
the Oaks Field, the Bremer Road section that they were in, and they went to Bay Street. When they got on Bay Street, big breakdown. They broke up everything that belonged to the white man. Notice the lady said, break, break up. They looted. Use the words that um, is in your, that is in the social study context, please. It make you sound a little bit more um, learned when you use the, those vocabularies. So they were looting. They looted only the white businesses. They break up, sorry, they broke up. That's not the word I want to use. They vandalized everything. The windows, they take out the stuff of the shop. They didn't care what was in it. They just went and went on a, man, a, a rampage. All right? So that was the riot. Good to go? Now, how did the big time fight start? Some smart, intelligent person saw the Coca-Cola bottle, went and get it out of the Coca-Cola out of the Coca-Cola truck and hit a window from the shop. And then that started off everything else. Persons were injured, persons were killed. So you had five persons who were killed, 40 persons were injured, a number of persons were arrested. So you had 67 persons that were arrested in all of this. All right, 67. I'm going to show you the other part in a little while. They had to call backup. And the backup who they would have called would be the Cameroons Highlanders, which is the British soldiers. Remember, we under British rule. So these British soldiers were called in to try and help out to tell these persons who were looting the black locals to stop. Go home, behave yourself, but it it took a while. All right. So the looting that they were doing on the bay on the downtown area, which is Bay Street, lasted for two days. In total, depending on which book you would read, they would say the the riot lasted for two days. For other books, you would see that it say it lasted for three days. All right. So it all depend on which book you would have read where it give you that discrepancy but i'm telling you um both of them all right so after they came in um a curfew had to be in called um selling persons after a certain amount of time you cannot be on the streets they then took um left the downtown area and they came over the hill please note i would have said to you what is considered as over the hill anywhere over over government house coming from government house heading south is considered as over the hill so bain town i don't know no other place they would call but you would hear they would you would hear bain town being called a lot any place from after government house heading south is considered as over the hill notice what is called the hill it's mount fritz william hill because that is where government house is being set is built on anything over that is over the hill please take that under consideration and please do not forget that all right so that is that so now let's find out what is the outcome what is the result of all of this um rioting that would finally have would have settled after two to three days one they end up giving the black locals an extra shilling oh wow and increased a whole shilling extra so instead of getting paid four shillings, they end up getting paid five. And this was two weeks later. All right. Five persons were killed. 40 persons were injured. And then you all um, had 17 persons who went to the Supreme Court after they would have come out of the magistrate court because 50 persons, well, in total, let's say 67 persons went to the magistrate, but only 17 from the magistrate went to the Supreme Court. All right, the um, um, the House of Assembly would have said, done an investigation on the matter, and this is what they would then come out of it. Um, the commissioner's report lasted 57 days, 24 pages report. If that was done in November, I am not sure per se. Per se, you have to remember um, full details of the commissioner's report, but. Um, it's good to know as well. 
all right? And then they would have gotten hot meal along with lunchtime included in their in the deal. Um, this is for the local blacks, which is I don't know. Is it fair? Was it fair? Was it a uh, a uh, uh, a good balance? No. Why? Pardon? Who oh, are you, baby? That could be a question D um, in the structure question. Do you think the Burma Road will, do you think giving the blacks um, their extra shilling and hot meal um, two weeks later, was it a good compensation? So you need to be able to explain why. And that's a four point question. So you can't just say yes, you cannot just say no. You need to be able to explain. So explain. Think about think about yourself. Would you, if let's say for example in school, um all those who were in grade 10, 11, and 12, they come to school 12 o'clock. Plus the school would supply them with all their school supplies. They come at 12 o'clock, all their school supplies, plus they get lunch, plus um, what else I can give them? Plus they get a ride home. They get, they go in a bus. The bus take them literally to their door. Seven, eight, and nine have to defend for themselves. Tell me, is that fair? Be able to support. Explain your answer is what is they going to say. Explain your answer. So somebody said, I have a question. Bermuda, Ryan, Lake, oh, um, Um, I don't remember where um, Burma Road was like where the sports center is. Down in that area. You know, the, you know where the sports center is? Yes. In, in that vicinity. I, and why wasn't it still enough? I don't know what B, what JB, um, JP. Yes, a JPR question. It is. So you need to be able to tell me. No, tell me. Um, answer me back. Why wasn't it fair? I don't want to tell you my answers and then you just stick with my answers. Give me some of your answers so we can collaborate together. Okay. I feel. Yes. But that last part, you don't need to, you don't, that last part, um, someone should, didn't need to um, actually say, Ms. Barr. Yes, um, someone said that they feel as if the race should have been, but I don't feel the race should have been a whole one shilling. If it is, they should at least increase it to at least two. So instead of four, they should have gotten six because they remember the other people are getting eight. That would be um, a fair balance to a, a, a degree, along with the hot meals and the lunchtime. And then you could also put in there, there shouldn't be no discrimination where it was foreigner or if it was locals. If anything, give the foreigners the four shillings and give the behemoths the eight shillings and put in a contract. After the contract is over, when the project is over, please do not expect to get any other compensation or any other increase in pay for any other job. They have the legal logistics as they say the word properly. Um, that, all right. So that was, that could be a, a, another reason. Yes, um, Williams. Good afternoon, excuse me, Miss Butler. But uh, free hot meal and lunchtime was that like every time they came to work when it was lunchtime, or was it just once? No, well, from what I can understand from this, until the project was finished, it's like our um, contractors now that we have. Um, they go to work for seven, and then they get up by three, four, three o'clock. Four, three o'clock, somewhere around, I think it is. Yeah. So I think it's like that. And when the job is done, then the job is done and, and they don't get paid until they go on another job. I think that's how it works. Not a problem. 
it should be fair for sex because yeah, sex. Um, because you have to take under consideration the company funds because it is better. Part oh, um, a piece that I forgot. The company was actually willing to pay them. I think that's part I didn't miss out. The company was going to pay them, but it, remember, it was the Duke of Windsor who said, no, don't pay them no extra. So it really wasn't the company's fault. You could add that too into your um, your discussion of your explanation. The company was willing to pay them the extra, but it was this Duke of Windsor, his parcel, who went and say, okay, no, don't pay that because when you leave as a company, we are not being, we cannot be able to pay them. Or that could have been in a contract. Just like how when you would go to work, you would um, fill out a application form and then in turn, you would have an interview. At the interview, some companies will literally have you sign a contract saying that you could work on a contract for five years, 10 years, 15 years or so, and, and or other things like that. Um, government also, you would sign a contract saying that you were going to receive X amount of money for the X amount of time that you were here. After X amount of time, you will be redundant or you would have to reapply, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So all of that could have been in the contract. All right. Um, my book it was government who take the money. Oh, okay, I know. The mean the extra money? Yes. Once you know the story, um, and oh, that's the next thing. In the structure section, that for that number four, what is worth four points? When you do not know what the answer is asking you, take a breather, review the whole story in your mind, read the question again. And then if it still doesn't come to you, write plenty. Write everything about the story that you can remember is as it pertains to what the question is asking you. They cannot mark you wrong. Hopefully, somewhere in there, it would be the answer. All right? I know. We ain't going into that, um, Mr. Ramin. We ain't going into that long story. All right? So that is going to also help you remember help you not to remember but help you to, to obtain points as well um the summary breakdown does the the ride lasted three days you had persons who were killed and injured um there was no oh that's another thing you need to remember too the riot had no real leader and it was not organized it was just okay let's go and everybody went unlike the general strike because they are going to ask you normally and most of the majority of the time when you hear Burma Road Riot, they are going to make you um, compare and contrast the Burma Road Riot with the general strike. So there are two topics that goes hand in hand um, if it's in the structure question section. All right. Um, lives were lost. The other one, it wasn't um, trade unions. For both of them, um, there were some trade unions act and policies that also came out out of both of the um, incidents, incidents in uh, events, Burma Road Riot and the General Strike. All right. Um, any comments, questions, or queries so far? No. no. Okay. Um, while I'm at the structure question section for section D, I'm going to plug it in there, even though I'm going to keep on reminding you. When you are answering question D in the structure question, they are going to give you a quote. Then they are going to ask you, do you agree or disagree? Explain your answer or explain fully. Please, 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 gentle people, the easiest way to get the full four points, one, make sure you say you agree or disagree. That's your first sentence or your first line. I agree with the statement above. Do not write the whole statement over. That's wasting time. Do you agree? Burma Road is in the, where you have um, the sports center in that area where the now sports center is located. They were going to build the airport there. All right. Um, yes. Do not rewrite the question over. The question over. Waste of time. And that's a waste of ink. Agree or disagree? Yes, I agree with the statement above. No, I disagree. Full stop. That's one point. Three main points. If you can get four, awesome. Your last statement, uh, which is your conclusion, 
you must, you must, you must say. These are the facts that that would say that that's not very specific. These are my points to clarify whether the statement is true or false. In conclusion, in conclusion, these are the facts that would say that it is true statement or if I do not agree with the statement. You must have the introductory statement. You agree or disagree. Your conclusion is you dis I I con in conclusion, I disagree and these are my facts above. Straightforward. All right. You must have your three to four facts in order for you to get your full four points. I would say make sure have four to be on the safe side. Sometimes some markers take offense. They want to see full four points, even though you have your uh, your introductory statement, you agree or disagree, and your conclusion statement. It Still, you have your introductory statement, your conclusion statement, and your four facts. All right? While I remember, when we get there again um, in practicing, I would also remind you as how to make sure get those full four points. It is not in the south. It's somewhere in the southern part of, the Baha of Nassau of New Providence, Sports Center downtown. There's no Sports Center downtown. You know where COB, the, not COB, the University of the Bahamas is located? Right across the street is the Sports Center. Kendall G. L. Isaac Sports Center. Yes. All right, um, any other comments, questions or queries? Are we good to go? Yes, I have a question. Yes, sir. What were the main methods of protest and expression used by the demonstrators using the riot during okay, that the song, riot? You that song like a history, BGCSE question, but the way the 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 um what they would have used is they would have read the question again. What method they would what use? Were the main methods and protest. What were the main me sorry, I'm stuttering. What were the main methods of protests and expressions used by the demonstrators during the riot? You tell me. What methods did they use for the riot? That was my question. Yeah, I know. Tell me. You, you tell me and I can tell you. Yeah, so, I don't know. Yes, man, you know, and I said it to you. What did they do to riot? How did they riot? How did they riot? They were on the streets. Say it again. They what? I didn't hear that part, so I can't answer. They threw uh, Coke bottles at the window. They were on the streets. And then, what do you mean they on the streets? I don't know the answer that part. How do they get to where they have to get? Where they have where they where they went? They were, they were rioting on the street. Like, okay, riot as what? How did they signs. get How did they get the road to Bay Street? They caught the bus or they caught the taxi. Thank you so much, Parker. They walked. What we would have said through of the um for history, they said that they marched from Burma Road to Bay Street. So that was one method. They they marched. So march is one of the methods. Another method was they looted. Um, the, um, to start the looting off, someone would have ignited the looting by taking the coke bottle, taking by taking the bottle and throwing it at a glass, and that would have ricocheted everything else. Was it not said? Read the question again to just make sure that we have everything. You said the method, and you also said something else in the question that we have to answer. I said, what were the main methods of mm -hmm. protest and expressions used by the demonstrators during the riot? The expressions. Everybody was upset. Everybody was angry. That's an expression. That's what they mean by expression. So we would have covered the full question. Method is what they are asking you for an expression for the particular riot. So one, they would have marched. That's a former method. Another one would have been looting. You can go in full details with, with looting. You can say that they literally walked off the job, walked or marched 
from the job to Bay Street and then the looting would have begun. Then you would have said the looting was when they would have damaged all of the white shops, merchants, buildings in the downtown area. That would help you expand your, if it was an essay question or a paragraph that you have to write. All right. So that was that. So that's the expression. They, everybody was angry. It was a mob. That's a good word you could use. Um, instead of saying a bunch of people, say it was a mob. All right. They was highly upset. They, they could not get their way. Um, they would have um, asked someone to intervene on their behalf and they were not satisfied. And therefore, that is where the anger and the rage would have come out. You've covered expression, but about two to three times. And you would have said what they did, how they get there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera.